Welcome to Soltron. This is a video review for the add-on kits for Generation Selects Hotshot and Frankentron. Let's start with Frankentron. So he comes with a lot of gap fillers. You can see I've already installed one side and you can see like he's got these huge gaps in his calves. He's got this tiny little gap here. He's got this gap in his forearm when you compare it to this side. And then he does have this gap back here that also gets filled in and the inside of his thighs. So it's pretty simple. You just take the corresponding pieces. So this one goes to his thigh. It's slightly tapered at one side. And then these are pretty well printed so that they fit in about perfectly. So that fits in very nicely. You don't have to worry about that coming out. And then this piece I don't think fits. I had issues on the other side where I had to trim it. It's, uh, yeah, this, this plastic part here is a little bit too long. Okay, so I gave it a little bit of a trim. We'll try to shove it in there one more time. Okay, now it fits in pretty well. It's a little crooked and it's kind of hard to adjust this one. And the other one I trimmed like a little bit too much, so now it's a little bit too far in there, but it mostly fills the gap, job is done. And then for the forearm one, so that's the only piece that doesn't really fit. The rest I think are pretty good. Just give those a nice little shove. And then the, the leg pieces are pretty satisfying. And once you shove these in, uh, they're pretty much not coming out. So you really got to commit. And then we take a piece in the back. I think that's all the way in. It's kind of hard to tell. We'll find out when I transform this guy. But uh, yeah, not bad. I think that that covers up pretty good. The color matching is quite good. So you can't even really tell that these have been added. Yeah, I think that does a good job of filling in those gaps. The other things that this kit comes with is it comes with these mini guns, which go on his forearms. And these are pretty nice looking. They're very intricate and everything's 3D printed. So it has a little bit of a brittle plastic quality to it, but it's not too bad. You can of course port those in wherever. So the tolerances are very nice on this. Um, they happen to be exactly like five millimeters, so they fit very well. And then he comes with this little thing hand, which is pretty cool. I never really liked the Adams Family, but for some reason this just really resonated with me. I thought it was a cool little accessory. It's got a five millimeter port. It's got this kind of hinge, which helps it stand up. I think if you hinge up, it's going to fall over. So you need that to help support it. It's also got like a five millimeter hole here. So you can put it in a variety of places. You can have it like attached to his back. If that does something, it's kind of pointless. Uh, the other thing he comes with that it's not as good is he comes with this adapter piece, which has a bunch of five millimeter ports. And these ports are good, but this, this peg is not good at all. It's supposed to basically go on his back and that enables like his thing hand to go over the shoulder. And these ports are very tight. And then you can have like this hand over his shoulder kind of look, which is not too bad. I personally prefer to have this thing just like hopping around his feet and then have this weapon try to port this onto it and this is where it kind of falls apart because this this just doesn't have enough friction you definitely have to apply a little drop of glue here to get this to not just fall right out which i haven't done so this is not holding up very well and then i guess if you rotate it you can kind of get an up and down motion like this so it makes a convincing like shoulder cannon which would be kind of cool. I think there's a missed opportunity. They should have had another male port to go right here, I think would have been a 
more sensible place to port this and then have it go like over the shoulder like this. I think that would have made a lot more sense. Of course, I can just fix that myself. I have five millimeter acrylic rods basically for that purpose. So I can definitely adapt this. So to go over his shoulder. Oh look, and I had the rods just laying on the floor. So I bought these from Amazon and I've already snipped a few pieces off. All right, there we go. I just inserted that rod there and now that will peg into his back here. And this, of course, I picked a five millimeter rod that was a little bit loose, which is unfortunate. Um, they, they, they come in like some slightly varying thicknesses, but I think this looks better than the way that they try to get you to have it. Oh, okay. The issue is, is that these are not actually five millimeter ports. They're a little bit larger. So the acrylic post actually fits in really well here. And then you can get his over the shoulder look, which I think is pretty good, even though he's already gotten over the shoulder can and it's a little bit of overkill. So this, this little adapter is kind of pointless to me, especially because you could just point peg this right here and it does basically the same thing, but it's cool that you can get it at kind of a 45 degree angle over his shoulder. That's kind of cool. Or you could just have it straight up, I guess. But yeah, I really like these little mini guns on his hands. It reminds me a lot of Castlevania um, in Portrait of Ruin or the other like 3DS Castlevanias. You would fight Frankenstein and he would have mini guns on his arms, which is pretty cool. So really cool callback to that. So yeah, that's about all that's going on with this kit. Nothing too special. And then we'll give him a transformation and see where everything ends up for his transformation. All right, here he is transformed with all his little extra bits. And then the gap fillers, none of them are even visible in this mode. Everything pegs in fine. All his gaps are already hidden in this mode. And then we can get his mini guns and just put those wherever there's a free port, which this guy doesn't have a lot of ports. So it looks like they're just gonna go on the side of the tank here. Um, maybe these ammo canisters are supposed to be on the bottom actually to feed from the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Gives him a little bit more of a metal slug vibe, which I always appreciate. And then you're going to take this connector. You don't really need this acrylic port. I just did that by accident. And then you're going to, let's see, put the hand on like this. No, that doesn't look very good. Let me see. I got it. It goes like this. And then the hand basically just kind of like points forward, like it's about to grab things. And there you go, that's him combined with that. And I forgot there is like one other thing you can do with this adapter, which is kind of useful. You can grab the mini guns. So we just leave Frankentron by himself. And then you can put this adapter piece on top. And then you put the two mini guns. into the adapter and there you go. Now you got the little hand crawling around with those guns attached, which makes like a cool little assistant vehicle. Of course, this hinge is kind of trash on the back. So he's having a hard time standing up, but um, that's a cool little play feature that you can get out of this little partner vehicle. So I like that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Not a bad set. Let's move over to the Matrix Workshop uh, Legends Selects Hotshot. So the this kit is also 3D printed. I got this one on eBay. And this one, he comes with the shoulder missiles, these thigh or calf missiles. And then he comes with these giant guns on top and this like backpack section. And he also comes with these two knives. So I really like this set because it's a it's a nice throwback to his original figure. So it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, that's about all this, there is to say about this thing. It doesn't really have much else going on. You can have the 
shoulder pads or the shoulder cannons lowered, or you can raise them up with this backpack section, which is very nice. These are kind of on a hinge, but they, they only like hinge up and down. So it's only going to be useful here if you want him to hinge those up. But yeah, that's pretty cool. A uh, nice throwback to the original figure. So a lot of nostalgia there. And then the, the knives are pretty nicely painted and very well detailed. So I appreciate those. Uh, the, the little missile pods just peg in right there. So nothing too exciting going on there. They're just a little panel. The paint on these, I think the black and the orange works pretty well together. So they look pretty good. The, I don't think that this, the, sh the ones on the shoulders look very good. And then you can see that they just use this port here that goes there. So this paint is definitely not quite a good match. It's a little too sky blue. And then the paint itself is a little bit sloppy in places, but it gets the job done. You get the idea. It definitely makes him look more like his original toy. And then these are cast out of two separate pieces. You could pull these off if you wanted to, but they're kind of not meant to detach once you've attached it. And then you get kind of these weird looking ports. And then this section back here. So you get um, a good amount of pieces with this. And I guess you could technically, if you wanted to set them up in another kind of way, you just take off all his original weapons. You could definitely have him wielding these knives with his five millimeter ports, which will fit into his hand. So you can get him kind of Rambo style, and then you can just have these on his shoulders. You could have these on his forearms. You just put these wherever. So pretty cool looking blasters. Personally, I like the way he looks combined with Slammer a little bit better. I kind of prefer his slammer combination. So I think this is pretty appealing. And then I can use that little five, that little acrylic post and just shove the cannon right there. And I think that's a pretty good use of slammer that also kind of calls back the Cybertron defense hotshot. Okay, and then to combine all this with his vehicle mode, you're just going to put these Missile pods are just going to end up where they normally are on his shins. And then you're going to take these gun pods. And that, of course, I did that upside down, is just going to be on the top of the Jeep mode right here. And then these missile pods are going to peg in to these back unused ports, I think. Um, I might have to look at the website or on the listing where I bought these. I'm not sure. I remember that these don't look good wherever they end up. Yeah, I think it might have been something like that. And then you're probably just going to shove the knives into the foot ports down here. So technically everything does store on him. Does it make the Jeep look better? Not really. I do like the gun pod on the top though. That actually does look pretty cool. Yeah, these are where these missile pods go. You just have to like angle them back so they don't interfere with his shin missiles. But yeah, um, not bad. So, and then kind of running out of ports for these things. I guess you're just gonna throw these on top of these guns which now everything looks pretty ridiculous, but not too bad. Um, so yeah, this kit was about $17 after shipping on eBay, so not too bad. The Frankentron kit uh, from AliExpress, I just looked it up again. This was $26 after shipping, which is too much. Like this is way too expensive for what you get for this, just this and all those gap fillers. Uh, I think this is not a good deal at all. If this was 17 bucks too, I, I would recommend it. It's not too bad. But for $26, no, I don't think so. Um, 
But yeah, I'll leave the links in the descriptions and I'll see you in the next one.